All right, the new rear suspension is done on the Pink Panther, and I'm using a Wobblink, which is a little unusual, but here it is. Uh, here's a demonstration. So going through its suspension, going up a little, and articulation. Um, these bars here, this one and this one that's not sort of hidden back here, are attached to a link there that goes down. It pivots here. This is my roll center. So by loosening this bolt and moving it up or down, I can move my roll center up or down. And uh, these are the push rods. These are the push rods that go to the shocks. These rods here hanging down are just for the belly pan. Don't worry about those. Uh, and these forward rods provide some stiffness to this uh, cross member here because this actually isn't very thick steel. I could have made it out of really thick steel to give it the stiffness it needed, but I decided to make it out of thinner steel and then use these forward struts. So you can see those. And they bolt up front. But there you can see all through its suspension range. And the three link. And the shock, the rocker arms moving. That's how that works. All right, so there's the new suspension on the uh, Pink Panther and uh, I really like it. Hope you do too.